Man, it's your boy, Eric, a.k.a. Young God, coming to you in the pink dungeon. Give it to you real raw rugged, you know what I'm talking about, man. You already know what this is. You clicked on it. This is a Travis Scott review. Before I get into this review, um, before I listened to Rodeo, I listened to Days Before Rodeo, and I didn't know how to feel about him. I was very... I uh, was very uh, perplexed, as you should say. Um, very confused what to feel about that nigga. I mean, I don't know, man. He's just a very confusing figure. It just, I don't know if I liked it or not. But anyway, I gave this a chance. And let's get into it, man. Rodeo, first track. Oh, before I do that, you already know. This review is brought to you by Nike. Just do it. Nah, I'm talking about it. Hey, man, you gotta just do it. Hey, it needs the uh, box for the all-black g Fazos. you know what I'm saying? Hey, if you don't got no all-white or all-black g Fazos, he ain't the real deal hot boy, man. g Fazos definitely the all-white or all-black Air Force Ones, man. If you don't got no solid black or white pair of these, you're not a hot boy. <laughs> pornography, man. First track, man. The pornography surrounding me. Hey, man, uh, niggas say he got pornography surrounding him. That's lit, man. I wish I had naked girls. Well, I don't want goddamn Brian Pump in the background uh, rapping while I'm trying to smash somebody. So I don't know if I want pornography. You know what I'm talking Imagine that Brian Pump in the background. She's a bitch. You know to make her face. <laughs> She's a bitch. What a big ass. <laughs> hey, man. Cool song, no, man. Nigga said, we're going to make this shit crack Lamar Odom. Hey, man. Lamar Odom, real deal, said, you know what? I'm going to stop making $35 million a year to go smoke crack. <laughs> Hey, man, salute to that brother right there. Number two, track, Oh My, man. Oh My! Hey, man, Quavo got the gold ad-libs on this song, man. Oh, my. Oh, my. Money! Cash! Oh, my! <laughs> Mama! <laughs> hey, that nigga, that be having me rolling, man. That nigga, that a fool. But, nah, I'm gonna tell you what got me. The second half of this song called Slide. I mean, Side. Excuse me, I said slide, cause this shit goddamn slid. Boy, this shit was hard, man. I'm trying to figure out what it sampled though. It sampled that song. I don't know. I think it's a Leah song. It'd be like, whatever you need. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Whatever you need. What song is that? If y'all remember, please comment, message, tell me something, cause I really wanted that song. It's an R&B song. I think it's a Leah. I'm not for sure. But hey, man, my nigga started goddamn uh, harmonizing and shit. Hey, man. No more Travis Scott. We're going to call this nigga Patty LaFleur. You know what I'm talking about? No more Patty LaBelle. That nigga Patty LaFleur, man. That nigga slid on that bit. Hey, man. Hard song, man. One of my favorites on the album. 3500, track number three. This came out way before the album. He performed it uh, at some concert. I forget. I think it's where he told the little, like, nerd nigga to get off the stage or some shit. I don't know. Hard song, no, man. Hard song, no, man. This shit slid. Uh, he said he want a bitch with an Iggy on her. I don't want a bitch with an Iggy on her. Uh, I, you basically saying you want a bitch with an Iggy. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, an Iggy, Vicky, Iggy on her, man. That shit nasty, man. I don't want that, man. That's silicone oil in the booty, man. Need a bitch, uh, goddamn Jiffy Cornbread thick. Um, future snaps, man. My nigga said, hood nigga, fuck all that red carpet shit. Hood nigga, I fuck the red carpet, bitch. What? Come on. I'm thinking that's the hardest line on the song. Then he ended with an even harder song. What did my nigga said? Nigga said, uh, nigga said, uh, man, you paid for that poo. He said, what he said, you paid a price for that poo nanny? My gold on my neck is a new Grammy. What? Man, I had a young thug. What? Come on, man. That was a bar, man. It's a new Grammy on his neck. Nigga, solid gold. That was a bar, man. And then you got two chains being two chains. Nigga said, uh, what he said? <laughs> nigga said, my my bad my, my bathtub besides the swimming pool. Backstroke to my children room. Hey man, you imagine that? Daddy Chains, can you read us a bad time story? Sure, nigga grabbed the book and just <laughs> nigga just started uh backstroking like he got down Michael Phelps or some shit, man. So I the fucking two chains. <laughs> Number four, uh wasted, man. Hey man, this is a hard song. This is like a Pimp C unreleased uh hook or something. I don't know, I really liked it, man. Then you know Pimp you know Juicy J talking that talk on this song, talking about you know, you can't hold your liquor, you can't hold these drugs, then. Hey, he was talking that talk, man, because that logically made sense. If you can't hold liquor, can't hold drugs, buddy. Hey, man, shout out to Juicy J, man. Hard song, man. Wasted enough. And then we got uh, T.I. again on the thing. Niggas really call that man Top Informant, man. That's, that's horrible, man. So we got uh, T.I., a.k.a. Top Informant. I fuck with T.I., though, man. Uh, he came through with another, another poem. Nigga thought he was got now Maya Angelou. Thought he was about to say still he rose, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, <laughs> uh, track number five, man, 902 I know, man. Whoever's on this track, 
who, uh, please tell me, she had a godly voice that, hey man, this is a 90210, then a beat changed, hey, crazy song, man, tell me who is this singing on 90210, love this song, and then we got Pray for the Love featuring Abel, The Weeknd, uh, and Pray for the Lonely, good song, man, definitely gonna pray for you, Travis Scott, because Travis Scott, he seemed like the school shooter. That nigga, like, his accuracy crazy. Boy, he seemed like he was that type of nigga at school you wanted to be friends with. Just in case he shot out to school, he gonna let you know in advance so you don't come that day. That nigga seemed like, he seemed like the type of nigga. He's not the type of nigga be in a corner. <laughs> Why the teacher teach a nigga? He a nigga looking around like, are you good, bro? Hey, man. LaFlame, hey, man. You gotta calm down sometimes, bro. You be coming off as a weirdo. Shout out to Gucci, man. Free Gucci. Uh, track number seven, Night Call, man. Hey, man. Autumn Bottles when the night calls. Hey, man, this is a hard song, man. Autumn Bottles. I fuck with this song. Sway Lee. Hey, that nigga need to come out with a solo project. That nigga be sliding. I like his singing voice, man. My favorite part of this song was Cheap Keep Verse. Nigga said, uh, what he said? I walked inside the gun store. Autumn Guns. And then he said, walk inside the club. Man, I ordered more wines. Nah, then he walked inside somewhere, and the bitch said she ordered key for lunch. Can you imagine that? Like, you're at McDonald's, and you're, like, girl in front of you. Hmm. I don't know. I, I think I'll take the number two. Uh, I think we'll get the cheap key for, with the side of, uh, Reese. You know? <laughs> with the side of Fredo. Like, like <laughs> what does that mean, key? Bitch, order you for lunch? Like, goddamn, what you? She ordered number three with the side of Fredo? Hey, man. Stop my nigga Keith, man. Hey man, hey man, low key at the night show. Hey man, P taking pills is all we know. Anzi Do was a hard song, man. Bam, bam, bam. That beat crazy, man. Nigga said he kicked the cameraman off stage because he ain't like the angle he was taking pictures at. You little photography ass nigga, man. That was hard. I like that bar, but that was. Hey man, shout out to fucking. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite songs on this album, though, man. Shout out to Travis for this song, man. I like this song a lot. Even though the Night Call and Antidote beats kind of similar, but still both hard songs. Next track, Impossible. I like the Jamaican part when he was doing a little Jamaican voice. Uh, I like this. When you bought that boy, you know, that, that was cool. Um, outside of that, it was a cool track. Number 10. Hey man. Kaya Fan, let's get drunk. Hey, Kaya Fan. Hey, Kaya Fan, let's get drunk. Thugger, thugger, baby. My nigga thugger on this track right here. And Bieber Veli with the Renegade, man. Bieber Veli was talking that shit. Bieber Veli said he trying to see what the big booty do. He said, hey, you, you cute and all, baby. I'm trying to see what them yams do, you hear me? I, was, I like that, Bieber Veli. Bieber came through with a solid verse. Travis came through his theme, but let's get the thugger, man. Thugger do this thing where he's like, he's rapping, he give you a chance to say, ooh, like what he said, he said, uh, he said, she brought like Tennessee, woo, my little thing like Tennessee, ooh, my little nigga with the thing, ooh, every time he do that little floor right there where he, da -da 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 -da, and he pause, you gotta say, mm, in a pause, man, what he be like, nigga, I just got the draws, ooh, my little nigga with the draws, ooh, that nigga was sliding, man, nigga said, bit pull the panty down, cause he, what he said? He said, uh, pull your pants down. I want that crack. Hey, man, that nigga was wildin' on his own, man. I fuck with this, man. Gotta listen to this song. You gonna listen to no other song, man. Probably my favorite song, man. Call your friends. Let's get drunk. Hey, man. Next track, uh, Flying High. Don't really like Toro -y, Maui, whatever the fuck that nigga name is. Not a fan of that nigga. So I really wasn't a fan of that, this song right here. It was cool for what it was. And Travis Scott really sounded like Kanye West on this song for some reason. I don't know why, but... I mean, I could have did without this song because I don't like the nigga Toro. Whatever, man. You know what I'm saying, man? Uh, I can tell, man. Hey. Baby, I can tell, man. I fucks with this song because... First of all, this nigga said... Let me start off. It all started in the basement. It was really an attic, but we call that shit the basement. What that mean, bro? That shit didn't make no sense, man. Hey, fucking nice song, though. You gotta remix this song, though, man. Baby, I can tell, man. Because, baby, I can tell. You got that waist training. You know what I'm talking about? You ever see a bitch with a waist training? This child, she's skin like, bitch, I can, I can tell, man. You know what I'm talking about? I can tell. <laughs> hey, man. Shout out to Travis Scott for that song. And, um, 
Apple Pie, closing song. I didn't get the deluxe, so I haven't heard Schoolboy Q. Shout out to Schoolboy Q, man. His his beard like my pubic hairs when I ain't shaking five months. I fucks with Schoolboy Q. Gotta listen to that. And uh, Apple Pie, perfect closing track on the song. And uh, yeah, man, uh, this album was pretty good. I guess I'm a Travis Scott fan now. So shout out to the school shooter, Patty LaFleur. And so then I say what I mean and I mean what I say. Haters gonna hate. And please go play Holla at Your Boy. I fucked it up. I'll let you boy. <laughs>